What up YouTube, it's Misery's Company. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the PvP build that I am currently using for the Blood Knight, guys. This build is literally insane and does insane amounts of damage while also just providing even more CC and survivability to the Blood Knight than it already had. It's literally crazy. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video to the very end. And without further ado, let's get straight to it. All right, so this is our new build. It's so much fun. Um, again, this will be first couple games that i've used with it um but as soon as i found out and i played with it a little bit i fell in love guys i know you will too so make sure you watch this to the very end we're going to cover the build at the very end but it gives a lot of cc potential with a lot of damage oh i can't wait this is gonna be so much fun all right cool um yeah it looks like we're on what offense thanks yeah no defense for sure uh, yeah, first game for me for today. So if I'm a little shaky or rusty in the very beginning, um, there's that. I'm still in bronze. I think I'm, what, three? Bronze two or three? Not sure. But still very much progressing my way into, uh, hopefully, higher ranks. So let's get straight to it with a win right now. If I look down right, my son is asleep. So I have my baby monitor on. In case you hear any crackling, that's what that sound is. It's just the white noise going in the room. All right, let's get straight to it. So my strategy in the very beginning is always to go for the one that they don't uh, to really give me the highest chance of hopefully defending it. Definitely gonna have friends here. Hmm, took a lot of damage. Oh, CCing for days. Okay. I got out of that heal up all right so i jumped in because i knew i would die if i didn't i would not necessarily recommend that in most cases though so my job is to get on you yeah yeah, yeah. and then just blow you up all right so i was cc'd for days and then immediately flipped it and got a kill out of it even though I had a ton of them on me. That felt good. Um, I did adjust the shoulders to the bats that do not transform me into an iframe or an invulnerability frame. So that could be a mistake. I might make that adjustment. I might, I don't know when my might came out like that, but I might change that. Got him with that little arrow. <laughs> Lulz. Oh no, there. Yeah, let's go. Want to get big? Let's get big. All right, you're too big. You're too big. All right, I definitely need that iframe. That's going to be the one change I recommend for this build. So we'll make that adjustment prior to uh, showing you the build. Uh, maybe even jump into a second game, potentially. This one looks like it's going well, but I need to be sensitive to the fact that, um, well, I don't have the right shoulders on. I really thought that having more damage would help me, well, kill more. My, my goal with this Blood Knight is really just to turn him into a good defense is a better offense. Like, I don't want to back down. So, I want to be able to jump straight in, not like that, and then just shred. But I don't, I am so like, yeah, I think I popped that CC tore me up a little bit because I went to jump in and then got popped up, which is which was a problem for sure. So, um, what are you doing, kid? He's asleep. Okay. Yeah, so that pop up kind of ruined my whole engagement there. 10% left, Looks as long as we can stop that guy from pushing, it feels good. I mean, we got 21 kills already as a team. Obviously not just me. Let's go ahead and get back in there. Good, they got him. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, so we gotta fall back. Let's see if I can get a quick heal before we engage again. Because I don't actually don't know if I want to engage. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't actually. I want to go ahead and retreat. Because if I engage, they're going to spawn right here on us. So I don't know if our guys are being all that smart right now. Because like they're about to get that bottom for free, essentially, unless that guy kills them all. Got him. All right, now let's go back over here. Let's go. I get that. Uh... Yeah. All right. So I, if, as soon as I get that iframe shoulders, I should be able to escape a little bit better than I am right now. But even with it, I still like. How much am I doing? I'm four, four, and six. Okay. So about average. We're gonna win. I'm just kind of being a little reckless. So let's let's turn on the smart switch. Being a little smart. Oh wow, they're pushing. 
We got our smart switch turned back on, so we're gonna be not dumb. Hmm. I don't know if I want to engage this alone. Crusader's a little tanky. All right, we got someone coming from the back. All right, we'll go for it. escape real quick. Let me go ahead and get a heal topped off before I die. Shut the door. Shut the door, baby. Alright, what's up, Tom? Free to color in? Yeah. Okay. I can do it after this, bud. Oh, you found a video of someone doing it? That's smart. Oh, yeah. He's drawing a dragon? How'd you find that? You looked it up? How'd you how do you know how to spell dragon? No, I didn't look it up. When you looked it up, I just found it. Ah. Uh, you're so smart, buddy. I gotcha. Alright, I'm playing PvP right now. Oh, I'm trying to get away. Say hi. Say hi to the recording. I'm recording right now. This is my oldest, Tom, or Landon. All right. You want to watch me, buddy? Yeah. Look what you have to I'm not a good drawer. I don't know if I can make that. Um, he's trying to draw a dragon. Um, I see. All right, let's go. All right. Well, let me do it. Let me finish this video real quick. Oh, watch out, buddy. I can't see. I can't heal people, baby. I'm not a healer. But I can heal myself. Mm -mm. I just kill people. <laughs> in the game, in the game. <laughs> no, those are my friends. They died. All right, now we gotta. Yeah, they'll come back. They'll come back in just a second. Oh, I'm about to die, Tom. I'm about to die. No, get out. No, get out. No, get out. All right, I got out. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Don't open the door, buddy. We want to wake up Jax. But we did do a video, right? That every time Dada died in PvP, you had to shoot me with a nerf gun? Look. Was that fun? Oh, yeah. That's cool. All right, I need to heal up again. We should win this, because it's... Actually, they're pushing that lane. All right, he got obliterated. All right. Oh, we got to get bottom real quick. They're about to win. Not win, but they're about to push to that next spot. All right, let's see. How much friends do I have? Uh, in this game, I have a lot of friends, actually. Oh boy, oh boy. I have a few. Alright, we killed everyone there, so now we gotta kill five more people and then we win the match. Oh yeah. And then I just gotta show them. We got seven kills right there. Oh, yeah, they got me. Good call out, Tom. <laughs> Yo. I, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, so look, you see it right here? Oh, see, we won. So we killed 65 of 65 attackers. All right, now let, I will help you color in just a second. I got to show these awesome people the build I was using, okay? Sound good? Yeah, and then I only need like a few. All right, and then I got 13, 6, and 9. So actually, Landon, you were my good luck charm. I started doing a lot better once you came in. So good job, right? All right, so let me go ahead and make that one adjustment that we talked about in the beginning here, which is, I don't know why I clicked on armory three times. Um, inherit, shoulders, I need the shoulders, these. All right, so this is the full build that I'm using right now. So for the headpiece, horns of the hexed, which allows siphon blood to no longer be channeled and now moves with you dealing damage, which everyone basically uses. The chest piece, this one is pretty important to the build. Whirling strike also grants 5% additional damage reduction per enemy hit for 4.8 seconds. This affects stacks up to a maximum of six times. All right, sounds good. 
So that's why I was dashing in and actually really focusing on seeing how many people I could hit because I, got, I was taking less damage overall when I was doing that. All right, now for the shoulders. I'm rocking Solemn Snare, which is Swarm, and this is the change. So previously I was doing the one where it just does the damage instead of actually turning you into the bats. So now it shrouds you in a fog of blood mist, increasing movement speed and making you untargetable while also dealing damage to nearby enemies. Um, this will allow me to get out of those skirmishes a little bit better instead of having to save a skewer. That way I can really use my skewer for the offensive ability that it really needs to be with this build. Um, for the pants, I'm rocking Faces of the Fading, which is the poison bats. Uh, this is the one of the most important pieces to this whole build, which is indulge, indulgent calligrapher, indulgent, indulgent calligrapher, which is calligrapher, excuse me, which is whirling strike now causes you to dash forward, damaging and knocking back enemies in your path while also applying a stack of bleed. So while uh, it can be a strike again, two additional times, the final strike hitting on nearby enemies, knocking them airborne. So that's why it really is important to dash, dash, dash back and forth and really stay on the same group of enemies, getting the damage reduction, applying the bleed and then popping them up. Um, next is the soul sensor, which is allowing us skewer now shatters the enemy armor, increasing their damage taken by 19%. And then um, the last two is the be slaver, which is skewer now causes you to leap into the air and slam into the target location, knocking enemies airborne. So that's why I was introducing myself to the enemies with a skewer, knocking them up and then using this with the whirlwind to dash back and forth to pop them up again. I get the bleed on them and lower my damage or get increased damage reduction to them. Last but not least, I'm using the um, Sigrid of Hawthorne or Sprig of Hawthorne, which is Skewer also increases your damage. So uh, Skewer is now increasing damage done to them while also increasing the damage that I do to them while also popping them up. So really fantastic there. Mixing it in with bats, um, Siphon Blood and everything else makes this so do so so much damage and now that i made the slight adjustment to have solemn snare i can really get in and out of battle so much easier let me know what you think of this build in the comment section below and shout out to landon again for popping in here and being my good luck charm since i was not doing well until he came in and i started doing a lot better once he showed up high five tom bam all right guys we hope to see you in a video soon make sure you like and subscribe